let's talk about a current event that just hit the press not too long ago, and it's about this gospel singer, Kim Burrell. First of all, who was Kim Burrell? <laughs> Like, if she hadn't even opened her mouth and said this, I would have had no idea about who she was. Nonetheless, let's talk about her. She's a gospel singer who was delivering a sermon at a church. And she, you know, basically just coming down on the LGBTQ community in the church. First of all, she's right and she's wrong. She's right because the Bible says that homosexuality is a sin. The Bible also says that the wages of sin are death. There's over a hundred commandments in the Bible. They're not just 10. What she needed to do was to address all the sins in the church. And why are we over here calling out all the sins? Call out your sin. How about that? Because I'm sure if we consulted the Lord and we looked at that book of all the things that you've ever done in your life, I'm sure we could find a little bit of you know, doing something strange for some change. You know, having them bands make you dance. Stealing money, stealing the eyeliner out the store, whatever. Another thing that I wanted to touch upon was the fact that <clears throat> Kim Burrell had a song with Pharrell Williams. Um, I forgot what the name of the song is, but she was supposed to be performing this on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Now, as you know, Ellen DeGeneres is an openly gay uh, female. So Ellen said, you're not welcome on my show. As a matter of fact, cancel that uh, performance. And, and it was done, honey. Okay. <laughs> you know, what was so inspiring about that is she was willing to take whatever repercussion it was going to be for her taking a stand on something that was really important to her. And I really wish that more of us would do that. I am not going to take away from the people who are peacefully protesting, who are educating people on the issues of our time. I'm not taking away from that. But what? I, how many of y'all still listening to Lil Wayne? Okay. How many of y'all are still listening to Kanye West, even though what they have said has been very offensive? to black people. Something to think about. So that's just my two cents, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Leave a comment. Talk to you later. Love and